so we configured the basic thing yeah. now we will try to post jv and we will see how system is working or our company code settings correct or still we have some issues so that's the first target now give me a second okay we'll go to fb50l we'll do a test posting and we will see are we able to post a jv or is there still some issue thousand dollars okay So we'll try to see what system is going to post. So we have debit other general expenses and credit cash. So it looks good. What we'll do is we will save it. Okay. So now this document, if I go to this display document, I go to GL view. So there is no other ledger maintained for this company code. So what we'll do is we will go to system configuration and we will see the ledger settings for this company code. At this point, uh, we just have one ledger in the company code. What we need to do is, we're trying to see we can have multiple we can have uh, actually so okay so this is deactivated
company code setting for the ledger. Okay. Okay, so here we have Then we set the indicator for that com this company will be using the parallel ledgers and then we save it. We'll try to see a document which we posted if in GL view we have option of other ledger now. Okay, this document was not posted with the ledgers. Okay. So the org structure is done. We are we are ready with the company code. Now we will go to the asset accounting settings. We have financial accounting new and then here we have asset accounting new. So the node has changed now. Previously it was asset accounting, now it is asset accounting new. We'll go to our structure first. Our country is US, so we have to check country version is available. Country version basically activates different functionality related to that country like tax or like local settings for that country. That is the function of country version, country activation. Then we'll copy chart of depreciation. We'll copy from the standard US chart of depreciation that's what the standard way is you have to copy from st US chart of depreciation so it says chart of depreciation copied Then we can rename our chart of depreciation. We can give this name. We can say chart of depreciation Apple. So we can just rename our company.
so these are the depreciation areas we have at this point we can deactivate or delete depreciation areas we have the choice this one I'll delete okay so it goes in display mode I can change the names as well so I'll I'll change the name so that you know it, it's clear how to do that and then we will assign the accounting principle as well We'll say US gap local currency. Okay. then we can assign the accounting principles we can say and this is my local gap okay okay so we have to assign accounting principles to all areas already assigned specify an area for accounting principles 0 1 that post APC Okay. Okay. You have to give me a second. Let so at this point, I'm I'm making it sixty because we have to do the 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 setting for this. We have to change the setting for depreciation area. So this is okay. This is saved. then we'll go to assign chart of depreciation to company code
so we have a company code a a01 and then we assign our chart of depreciation a us we just created and we will assign make the assignment and it is assigned So here we will assign ZL and we will say this area is post to area post in real time. Now it says chart of depreciation AUS ledger of assigned accounting principal overlaps. Okay, so we have overlap. Two are posting in the real time. should not happen so ideally only one depreciation area should be allowed to post in the real time Okay, we'll complete this setting.